What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In, in, in. <laughs> What's up guys? I just landed in Jacksonville, Florida for UFC 261. George Masvidal versus Kamara Usman 2. I'm here gonna be cornering my bro, the man, Chris Whiteman. Gonna be showing you the ins and the outs of, of the fight week. You guys are gonna come with me. So let's get after it. Bruce, I'll see you there, my brother. All right, you take care of the season. Yes, sir. You have a good one, okay? Brother. Enjoy. This is Carlos, okay? What's up, Carlos? Steven, Steven, Steven. Nice to meet you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Just want to double check. All right. Let's do it. Appreciate you, my friend. Best of luck, man. Yes, sir. Thank Glad you, brother. Go. Now I got to go in and check in with the UFC and take my COVID test, which is going to suck. I'm kind of nervous. I hate doing the COVID test. All right. Let's see where we're going. How you doing, my friend? Good How you been? Good, good to see you, too, man. There he is. What's up, my man? How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Yeah. Where do I need to go? I just got here. Uh, straight up the stairs right here. Okay, yes, sir. You can see Tony and those guys. And they'll okay. Tested and all that stuff. Sweet. I'll be seeing you guys this week. Right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right, here we go. You got old Justin Gaethje over here. What's up, my brother? It's good to see you, my brother. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know what I got there, but I got to go back downstairs, get my room, and then quarantine doesn't start till, till I would say, what did they say, one o'clock? So that's what I gotta do. So let's go get my room. Look who's here, Carl freaking Reed. Check the buys, baby, check the buys, check the buys. Dude, the Venom gear is so nice. It dude, it looks good, dude. Skin. It feels amazing. Really? Got so Venom, Venom's a thumbs up for you? Venom's a thumbs up for me. Okay. Got it. So now I've gotta check in at the Omni Hotel. This is kind of like our UFC bubble. We cannot leave the hotel. I can't leave the hotel. I don't even think I can leave my room. So now it's just wait time. Of course you can take the room if you'd like. All right. Um, room service. Leave it right at the front door. Home sweet home for the weekend, everybody. Two beds, but it's only me. Hopefully I don't have to bunk up with Ray Longo. No disrespect, Ray, but you know, I like to have a room to myself. But uh, yeah, man, super excited about this weekend. I haven't seen Chris yet. I gotta find out where he's staying and see what the plan is. I know we have the mock weigh-ins today, so I'm trying to get, if I can, to go do that. Um, since I just got in today, I did the COVID test. Usually they quarantine you, so we'll see if I have to be quarantined. Where is he at? Is he in there lotioning up again? I am. Let's look at this guy after weigh-in. He's ready to rock. Dude, I like the way those fit. I'm back. Uh, he was like a real man. Bro, hey, how did I feel pumped with that? Like towards the end, I felt, hey, you like, felt so skinny. Like, you felt strong. <laughs> you felt strong? <laughs> felt strong. <laughs> we did like a steam shower. Almost, yeah. Too, oh, right? that's the best. It, it was great. We opened the, the hair dryers on and we took the shower. Oh, on. just to make it as hot as possible? Yeah. Thursday night, it was about an hour and I lost eight and a half pounds. Wow. It cool. looks good, dude. Hands, it fits your figure, oh, man. Lava does not like. The yeah. tight shirts. <laughs> Everything's tighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he doesn't like it. He's like, actually, like, he, he was so excited to be extra large and Reebok. Now he's triple X. <laughs> There's Longo, the Godfather. Hey, it fits good on you, man. Yeah. I think it fits good on you. These guys are getting ready to go for the mock weigh-ins, which I'm not be able to go because I. Uh, it's for YouTube, man. It's for YouTube. I'm YouTube. Because it's not, not everybody, not everybody's looking at me. <laughs> anyway, I can't go because I just took the COVID test and they won't let me out of the bubble. All right, guys. Been sitting here for about three hours, quarantining in the room. We got crazy weekend ahead of us. Tomorrow's gonna be nuts. Let's go. It's Saturday, the day of the fight. 
As you can hear in the background, Chris Wyden is getting a little workout and get, breaking a sweat, getting ready for his fight, getting focused. I'm gonna be in here kind of throwing some techniques on him just to give him a little look, just to break a sweat. You know what I mean? That's all there is. That's all he needs to be doing um, at this point, leading up to the fight, uh, especially the day of. Just getting your mind right. Normally, I'm in bed. I'm, I, I, I chill out up until the fight. So we're gonna go in there and check it out. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Good work, baby. Good work. All right, guys. Today is the day. We're getting ready to head out. It is about 740. Got the whole uh, Venom get up, which is actually super sweet, actually. I, kind of, I really like the, the shirt, the material, and everything. I want to take you guys through some of the Venom gear. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so this is what we're actually wearing. One, we have the zip-up jacket. Turn around, please. The Wideman zip-up jacket, which I think is pretty sweet. My man Tom is modeling. This is uh, one of Chris's sparring partners looking sharp. Look at, I like the shirts because it, it shows the muscle, right? The muscle definition. I know Longo doesn't like it too much, but it's looking pretty sharp. Venom Provide. Socks. Oh, I gotta have the Venom socks, that's right. Reebok is still providing the shoes, but not the whole wardrobe. I got a pretty cool Venom sweatshirt, but this bag is pretty dope. It came with a pretty cool toiletry bag, UFC toiletry bag. I like it. I'm kind of liking the colors with the matching shorts. Kind of like it, pretty cool. And some matching shirts that go along with it. Got a gray shirt and ooh, extra leggings, bro. Let's go. And it feels way better versus okay. Reebok. Okay, I agree. Definitely geared more for like comfort, but also performance. So we're getting ready to walk down. I'm gonna do my best to vlog every step of the way. I'm gonna try and stay out of Chris's face because I know he's focused. So uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, bye babe. Love Thank you. you. Oh, All right guys, victory out there tonight. Let's go. We got it, baby. Love you, Dad. Let's get it, let's get it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Chris. Those pants make your butt look good, Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. What's going on guys? I seen uh, and heard all the love and support I'm getting. I just want to let everybody know I, I'm so thankful for all the love and support. And 
I really do want to get back to you all. It's pretty brutal, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get through this. I think it's gonna be eight weeks till I can walk without uh, crutches and stuff. As far as like actually training, they said between six and twelve months. Surgery was successful. They put a steel, they put a titanium rod through the tibia. The tibia was broken as well, and they feel like that could heal on its own without you know as long as I'm not putting weight on it. So just saying, I love you guys, and uh, thank you so much.